Hey guys, so now we're going to add these two fractions together. Once again, fractions, you need common denominators. And it's going to be easiest to do the least common denominator. And the best way to get the least common denominator is to factor everything as fully as you can. So if we factor this x squared minus 9, x minus 3 and x plus 3, which happens to be the least common denominator because x plus 3 is also under this term. So we're going to do both of them by x minus 3, x plus 3. What did we have to multiply this left side by to get x minus 3, x plus 3 on the bottom? What was x minus 3? So we're going to do x minus 3 to the top, x minus 3 to the bottom. And that on the top gives us 5x minus 15. And for the bottom, we get what we wanted. Now on the other side, what do we have to multiply the bottom by to get that? Nothing. So we're just left with x. So last step, we just combine like terms. Now we could be done now, but just for good measure, you might as well factor out what you can in the top since it now factors, which would give us And since none of those things cancel top and bottom, we're done with the problem. And that was it.